Ready? All right. You guys have a very light homework assignment today. You guys, it's light because there's not a lot of work to do, right? But it is big. Okay. You guys are going to have to go down to Home Depot or Lowe's, okay? And you are going to buy a, a, a four foot by eight foot by one half inch thick foam. Okay? Now, many of you are going to say, well, how the heck am I supposed to get that home? My car doesn't hold a four foot by eight foot sheet. I have an answer for that. Okay? Uh, but before we get to the answer to that, I want to show you guys a collection that I have of students that have bought the wrong thickness of stuff and have had to do it over. If you will pay attention to up there, up here, these are all models where the students, right, did not use the right <laughs> thickness of foam. <laughs> right? And so if you're supposed to buy half inch foam and you buy you know, something else, right, it gets really steep. Or if you're supposed to buy one inch thick and you buy quarter, it gets really flat. Okay? Your models are going to look like this. So I'm going to grab this one here. Bring it out. Your models are going to look about like this. Right here. Okay? So this is half inch thick foam. Now, Listen, this is very, very, very important. Okay? I, I was a contractor, so I can make as much fun of contractors as I want to. All right? Because I is one. I is one. That's right. Damn it. Um, I'm an architect, too, so I can also this quite, with some sophistication. <laughs> we have a little Richard Jackson in there. Um, what quite often happens at Home Depot is, is that that uh, Johnny Contractor comes in to buy some foam, and Home Depot always puts the crappy, beat up, edges dinged stuff at the front. So some poor, unwitting buyer will come up and grab that one, get home, go, oh look at these edges, they're terrible. But see, Johnny Contractor, he's been he's been bit two or three times by that bug. So what he'll do is he'll walk in, or maybe it's it's Juliet contractor, right? She'll walk in, or he'll walk in, and he'll go, oh, this one's all beat up, and they'll just shove it over into the next bay. Now, so this is three-quarter inch over here. He's trying to buy her. She's trying to buy three-quarter. But since it was all beat up, she put it in the next one, which is the half-inch bit. Now you guys come along, and you go, Three quarter, one inch, half inch. Oh, must be half inch. <laughs> and out the door you go with some three quarter inch beat up foam. Measure it. Take a little tape measure, take a ruler, and measure it. Here it is. You can measure this one. Half inch thick. Okay? So that's what it's got to be in order to, to do this next project. Okay, so now, is there any questions about that? Uh, the brand name on this stuff is usually something like Artec. It is in the, I think it's, it could be C, I don't remember. Something like that, Artec. Okay, and it is in the building material section over where lumber and stuff is. If you can't find it, tell them that you're, tell, go find it. See, good, good luck finding someone at Lowe's, but if you find somebody, say, I need foam rigid insulation. Okay? So you will have to buy a sheet of one half inch thick rigid insulation. Let me just quickly check and see if I have some. So it looks like this right here. Usually it's chrome on one side. I got some more in there, but that's about half inch right there. Artec, see, it's a T E C H. All right. Okay. So now the next question you have is, well, how do I get that in my car? Well, you're going to take your nice, sharp, snap-off knife with you, and you're going to take a sharpie or other marker, 
And you're going to measure from here, right, to here, you're going to measure two feet. And you're going to draw one line straight across at two feet. And then you're going to cut that off, and it's going to be sitting over here. And how wide is it? This way? How wide is it this way? Two feet. How wide is it this way? Four feet. Okay. So now this is all gone. Okay, you have one, don't you? Hey, so now what do you got left? Six feet by four feet. So now you're going to measure halfway across four feet and draw a line. And then measure halfway across three feet and draw a line. And you're going to cut that up. And you're going to end up with four pieces that are two foot by three, by, by, by three foot. So you'll have a four foot by two foot and then four pieces that are three foot by two foot. That will fit in your car. Okay? So you are to bring all of these bad boys. You are to have all of your pictures taken for the different scenarios that you created. Okay? And you are to bring in this foam. But wait, there's more. You guys know what a caulking gun is? Yes? Close. You see uh, the little, there's like a cartridge with a pointed thing, and people will click, 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 click. Right? You see, I might have one in here. <clears throat> I used to have one, but everything grows legs here. Ah, there's one. These used to be $1.95 at Home Depot. I think now they're about $2.50. This is a coffee gun. So... That thing is going to be about nine bucks. This is going to be about two bucks. Okay? So you need a caulking gun. Um, I hate to use the word gun in school. I get in trouble. Whatever. Caulking thing. <laughs> thing. Okay? Caulking thingy. Um, and then you'll need one more thing, which is. No, I, never mind. We're going to wait on the caulking gun. Unless you want to get it now. If you want to get it now, get the caulking gun. And then you have to buy one, two to go in that thing of Alex Painter's Caulk. I'm having a hard time spelling cult right I now. I like the H of the Yeah. Ah, too. Right. Is there an L in there? Yeah. There is. C A U L K. Yeah. Sorry. <laughs> anyway, so you can buy the caulking gun and you can buy the fingers caulk. This stuff should cost you about a buck seventy five. This should be like, let's call it two dollars and twenty five cents. And the Artec installation should be like $9.99. So, you know, 12 bucks, 13, 14 bucks, something like that. Okay? That's what you will need in order to build this, and you have to have it with you when you come to class. Now, you notice that it's stripped clean of plastic surfaces. So, if you can please strip off the plastic surface, which is a pain in the beehive, especially if the insulation is old, you might want to kind of Peel it and keep peeling until it's all off. Right? Peel off the plastic insulation. Okay? And we will I will show you how to build your own miniature mountain on um, Tuesday. Thursday. Thursday. Um, on Thursday, we will also be starting to not just aggregate these, whoa, but we will also be colliding them. Okay? So um, I'll give you a demonstration on how these things are going to be collided one into the other. Some of them. Okay? Any questions? So very, since you guys had such an arduous weekend, very light homework between now and Thursday. See you guys all Thursday.